Hello everybody, this is Peter from Peter and Lee Studios. Dad, say hi. Hi. Yep, that's Lee from the studio. Um, currently at home. Little unboxing video today. Um, we've got this through in the mail from Amazon. So, let's just open it up first. This side's a bit difficult to undo. Mm. Oh, I've already cut it, it's fine. Just top. Very gently open top. I'm not used to doing things. Yeah, not used to cutting towards me, so. Yep. Will be open. All right. Let's see how. So this massive box just for what? That's right. We got the T Rex from Mattel's Hammond Collection. So that's what it looks like in the box at the moment. We will get an open it up in probably a few minutes once I've cleared all this away. So we've got that size box in this. And uh yeah. a little bit of a delivery night oh well. We actually got it on half price during the sale so yeah you could you could definitely fit a second one in here. That's for sure but oh well. Anyways we'll um you can see in a few seconds where I'll clear this away. Okay, so that's what it looks like on the back of the box. Um, let's just put it that way. So that is what the T-Rex looks like in whole, just on the back. It's larger and it's larger when you take out the box. Uh, a little bit of information about it. Yeah, so I'm getting open it up. Dad, you looking forward to this? Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah. Look at it. All right. Let's just very carefully open it up. I don't want to end up cutting myself again by accident. You could definitely fit. I think that was probably. Um, I think it must have been a Mattel Depot box, and they just took one out. All right. So it's all cut open. All right. Let's get and undo this thing. Trust you with this for a second if I can find somewhere suitable to fit where it doesn't fall down. Um, yeah, no, it's just gonna fall down. So, uh, if we just keep it like that, I can't find a suitable position for the thing on the back. Oh well. Uh, I might have to do it one-handed. Yeah, I can do it one-handed. Alright. Just carefully get this out of the box. Just very carefully. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. Oh, that is... Oh, that is a good size. What do you think? Are you trying to tell me that I'm old or something? <laughs> what? I'm not a dinosaur. Dare <laughs> you say I'm a dinosaur? <laughs> I mean, you did turn 53 in August on 22nd, but that's not really that old. Right. Let's get them very carefully on these straps. Yeah, that's that one. So these ones, uh, I'm do that one carefully. Go. Okay, so that should be all the straps off. Oh, whoa, that is cool. They have the pupil for the eye in the wrong place a little bit, but oh well, it doesn't really matter to be honest. Oh my god, the feeling of it is brilliant. 
Do you know what? I think the, the Hammond collection might actually be better than the Amber. So I'm just going to put that on there. And then we'll... It's half eight of him, mate. <laughs> and we've got the tail. So, the tail, the back end of it is made of a rubber kind of material. Strange looking carrot. <laughs> oh. So the hands are made of a rubbery material. So it's got... One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, So it's, it's got roughly around 23 points of articulation. Um, it's a pretty decent size, I'll tell you that. Especially considering that in the UK, you can only pick these up from Amazon for like... Almost a hundred quid, which is um, a bit of a ridiculous price to pay. I'll put it on. Um, oh yeah, just just very oh, just pushes in. Um, right. I'm gonna have to find somewhere to stand this up temporarily. While I, while I clip the tail in, then it's gonna have to be suitable to hold up. Um, this is going to be a bit awkward. Um, yeah. I'm not gonna do the box up. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. That's not going to go well. That's not going to go well. Alright, just going to clip the tail in. I know you can't it's see it. Probably just to twist and then put it, put it in the twist. No, it's in. There we go. Oh. It's got to work the joints a little bit first. Just so they don't, just so it doesn't stiffen up. That's just the ordinary sound. It's normal. This literally just loosens up the joints a little bit so then you can articulate it, so you can pose it. Um, there we go. Is that one? God, this is must. This probably came straight from the manufacturers. Because the joints are very stiff. Oh, oh! 32 points of articulation, everyone. 32 points. And it's now pumpkins, does it? Yeah, yeah, it does. Oh, that is cool. Cool. Alright, let's see about getting the um, top part of the all done. Oh, that one's well stiff. Oh, I reckon that. Uh, I know this came from, straight from the manufacturers then. Because oh, top part and these are stiff to get undone. But they do eventually. Oh, and the tongue's articulated as well. That, oh, <laughs> this is a bit funky. Isn't it? Okay, so we've got all the parts articulated. It doesn't walk by itself, you know. Oh, of course, that's stainless. Yeah. But, um, you know, it's all articulated, so let's get another quick look at this. Alright, enjoy the hardwood floor for a second. Just so I'm getting this thing set up. Oh, 
I'm very, very not good at setting this kind of stuff up, but oh well. Right, that should all be good. Right. Oh, right. This is a bit of an awkward angle for me because I'm not used to being on the floor for a video. Cool, I'll tell you what. This this thing here puts the main line. Yeah, Mattel, you've done a very you've outdone yourselves on this. You really have. Because um It's much better than the main. It's, yeah, this thing is much better than the main toy line for Jurassic World. I mean, it's brilliant. Tongue's made of a rubbery plastic. So is so is little membranes on the side of them. So is, so tongue's made of a rubbery plastic. So are the membranes on the side of the mouth, which is brilliant. Teeth are made of a rubber kind of material. So are the hands and the end of the tail as well. Um, jaw is articulated in two points and they close together. And now this design is, I'd say, is most roughly based on the 93 T Rex with a little bit of. It's mostly designed on the um, 93 version of Rexy. With. Um, just with a little bit of Jurassic World style to it because got a little bit of scarring on there just around the mouth. Um yeah. So this is honestly, Mattel has outdone themselves on this. Um Dad, what do you think of it? Can we cook it? <laughs> no, unfortunately it's made it's it's not it's not the right material to cook. <laughs> You're always thinking about your stomach, aren't you? Yeah. Oh well. But um, yeah. So, w would you say it's worth the fifty quid that we pay for it? Yes, I think it is worth fifty quid. Uh, I'd say it's worth fifty. Considering you got it for half price. Well, in the UK on Amazon, um, it would have been a hundred, but we got it on half price because of sale. So if you want one, um, and you can't find any any of them on another website in the UK, you could probably go on Amazon and pick them up for half price right now because there's only a few left in stock. So we do recommend we do recommend this figure. It's absolutely amazing. I just love it. Really do. Um, yeah. So that's it from Peter and Lee Studios for today. Um, we will be coming at you with another video soon, and that's pretty much about it, really. So, see you next time.